I remember not too long ago, we had the opportunity to meet with a lot of our leaders uh, that call this house home. And we gave them these little white sheets of paper, remember that? Mm -hmm. And we were like, give us five words that you would use to describe your church, if, any words, you know, don't put your name on it, just what would you say? And over and over and over again, the word that they used was creative. And it really stood out to us and it really resonated with something that God had been speaking to us for years. The second one was diversity, which we, we obviously get to experience and celebrate here in our church. And this is something that we have not been able to shake. And a lot of people, you know, might be asking, you know, why is this something that you're feeling like this is something God's speaking to you now? And I believe that this pandemic, when we went into it, I began to think like, oh my goodness, how is this gonna work? What, what is God gonna do with this? God, I know you're doing something big. And we never had the ability to release it, but now God has spoken this to us and he's given us the freedom to release it because when you look at the pandemic that came um, before, it just forced so much creativity. When you look That's at right. what happened with the Spanish flu, it forced innovation, it, it forced creativity like the world had never seen. And pandemics are a pivot point in history. It like captured the attention of not just our city, our state, our nation, but the world. And when you look at all the innovations that came out from the Roaring Twenties, when you look at everything that was birthed out of that Spanish flu in the uh, early 1900s, I mean, you look at the, the the automobile, the light bulb, all the different things that came out of it, the car, the radio, all these things came out of creativity. And I believe that this is a reason why God is birthing this in us right now. And our online services have been amazing. Our kids ministry has done a fan, a fan our kids love it. They do. They just love it. They and beg to watch it over and they over They beg again. to watch it over and over and over. And, you know, Pastor Jonathan's done a great job. Come on, <laughs> right? No, our team's done a great job uh, helping us get worship online. Our worship team is legendary. They're so great. You know, the reality is that our online services are a great supplement, but they're not a replacement right. for us meeting in person. And we just believe that God has called us to do that. And this is something that we've tried to shake for several years. We've tried to say, ah, oh, let's just not, I don't know, it's not the right time. We convinced each other that it wasn't. Yeah, we try to convince each other not to do it, but it's just been bubbling down on the inside of us. And I'm telling you, now is the season and God has given us the freedom. And finally, we have this opportunity to bring forth to you. I'm so excited. Are you excited <laughs> yes. to bring forth to you? Are you ready? Yeah. Tell them. Creative Church. Creative Church. Creativity is launched by passion. So we are passion first and creative forever. Right. We are creativity with a cause and the greatest cause that's ever existed in humanity, the cause of Christ. We believe with all our heart that passion fuels creativity. We're passion first, but we are creative forever. And we are excited to bring forth creative church to you and to the Twin Cities, to our nation and the world. This is a season for us to get involved and get plugged in and see creativity be spoken and prophesied over our kids, our teenagers, our families, and all the ministries that call this house home. I'm excited about what God is going to do.